Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Feathers Fishing Tackle. <clears throat> Today, we're going to be doing the April's Mystery Tackle Box Pro. So, I'm not going to sit here and talk a lot. We're just going to get right on into this box. I've already shook it. Sounds like there's some goodies up in here. All right, first thing first. Oh God, there's a bunch of cards up on here. Where, oh, a little thing where it says to where to throw a couple lures. So apparently I already know two lures that are gonna be up in here. <clears throat> uh, we got the little dibble. As always, give little tips and tricks. Very informational they are. If you don't read the Dibble, you should. And the main card. This is going to tell you what's in your box. First, Reaction Strike XR. M. So, <clears throat> if I can get it to, I'm not even going to try to flip it over in here. I'm just going to uh, get it out. So, a little, little uh, XRM 80, which is 3.2 inches in length. Dives two to four foot. Little jerk bait. Little bitty old thing. Got a little orange on that, but it's, it's you know, has a little blue sheen to it on top. It's probably not coming up on camera, but there's a little blue sheen throughout the whole thing. Um little smaller presentation for a jerk bait um but that's good for this time of year um you know right now where i am you know fish are still reacting to some jerk baits but you know tone it down a little bit go to a little smaller jerk bait um I think that'll be good. Plus, it has real good BBs in it. So, makes a lot of noise, strikes a lot of fish. Next, 13 fishing motor boat hybrid prop bait. Wow. This thing. This thing right here. Look at that. Let me get this sucker out. Dang. I have never, never fished with anything like this. So, this will be uh, quite interesting to use it already comes texas rigged on a hook uh, so the hook on there is sharp that's good so there's a string i'm guessing goes through the entire bait I'm guessing um, that hooks on to a buzz bait blade, which that is thick, but it's plastic. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it being plastic. But 
as many anglers do, which I do, always can hook, can hook your hook to where throw it around grass or something like that. It ain't gonna get stuck. Um, interesting concept. Um, again, I don't know about the plastic buzz blade on it um, I think if you'd want to use it as a topwater bait you know I don't know how it's gonna sound um, I've never used a plastic buzz blade so I don't know how the sounds gonna be or not um, so really interested on what kind of sound it makes next up Vertical Lures Tube X. Vertical Lures. So, there's a little, little tube bait. This is interesting. So instead of having all the other little danglies, guess I call them danglies. It is hollow, so that's good. But it has four little, four little legs, four tentacles, whatever you want to call them. There's four of them. Instead of just a whole bunch, there's only four. Um, black and red, real good choice around here. A uh, bunch of smallmouth here. Um, <clears throat> water stays a little muddy like it is today. We had a lot of rain the past couple days, and the, uh, the water's all blown out. So, probably no fishing today, even though I'd like to go today. Next, <clears throat> the juice, the Guggen Squad juice jig, five sixteenth ounce. This is a very, very nice color. Love this color. It is blue crawl. Very good, uh, very good color. Very nice if um, your fish are still in the um, still in spawn stage, um, which I know, I know you know y'all northerners probably still are. Probably your fish are probably getting ready to start spawning or are spawning as we speak. Uh, we have a little mixture of both because we have lakes that are warmer and colder than the rest. So we have some that are now getting on the beds. We have some that have already went on the beds and they're gone. Um, <clears throat> one good thing I like about Guggen Squad Jigs is... They have the weight or the ounces on there. Are you going to focus? I don't think it's going to focus. I don't think it's going to focus. But it's 5 16th. I love that. You know, you put it in the box, you grab it, you don't have to sit there and be like, you know, okay, that may be a half. Maybe an ounce. You know exactly what it is when you look in the box. I love that. Love that. 
Okay. Z Man. T R D Hog Z. Green Pumpkin. Another little Z Man um, bank. Everybody knows Z Man. Throws Z Man probably. These are interesting. Like when I read the name, you know, Hog Z, I was expecting like a uh, like a brush hog or something like that. But no, just a little bitty presentation um, creature bait. Um, little in my mind, at first glance, I think Helgamite. So these, I could put on a uh, small little jig head. And dig it for smallmouth up in the uh, up in the river. Hmm. I like that. Which I'm hoping to get some fishing content out to y'all. I just fish has been terrible, and when I do catch fish, I don't have my camera with me, of course. All right, next thing, Mollock's Nano Jig. This is a three sixteenth, three sixteenth Nano finesse jig. They don't have the color on it, but looks it just looks like brown pumpkin. Let me get it out of a V package. <clears throat> These are really, really, really good. Small mouth baits. Uh, I love a nano jig. I really do. I like sitting there and <clears throat> hitting the river and throwing just little small grubs, jigs. Because I know a lot of people they go fish a river around here. They're using like Mr. Twister, like Twister tails, little grubs and stuff. I like throwing a grub too. But I like throwing little little baits like this. You know, I I'm still throwing a jig and. I still throw everything that I throw on a lake. So I like the challenge. Last but not least, Guggen Quad Heavy Hammer Hooks. Three out hooks. They're the hammer hooks. I have not tried these. I've been wanting to try these. But. I have not got around to buying any. So. This is the day. I love the angle of it. That is really good. Um, I think the presentation on the worm. Will be better. Really don't have anything besides the tube to put this on so I guess I could put it on the tube get back in there and while I'm grabbing the tube we got another little catch code sticker good old robot fish little Gatling gun and everything it's yep. interesting oh. <clears throat> Yeah, we can put it on the tube. I'm just gonna Texas rig a, I um, this tube here. Oh, yeah. of course I'd grab the one that ain't.
now. This ain't gonna be pretty, cause I mean I shouldn't be using a size three on here, and I definitely wouldn't Texas rig my um, tube, but. Just going through here and Texas rigging it kind of hard. I love that it lays a whole lot flatter to the bait when it's on there. Uh, it's This is kind of stretched out because I'm not going to be throwing that on there. But it lays a whole lot flatter. So I'd still skin hook mine like that. But it does lay a lot flatter on a hook. That's great. Um. So, I do like that. So, <clears throat> all in all, I like this box. <clears throat> I have confidence in this box. So, I believe... I'm going to take this out one day and we're going to catch some fish with it. Hopefully I get some footage for y'all. But again, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will have hopefully have some fishing videos and some more um, bait making for y'all as well. Just let me know in the comments what y'all want to see, and I will try to get it done. Again, thank you for watching. See you next time.